Hello, this is Sirat Ali. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. My well wishes are with you. May you live long, healthy, and safe life. This tutorial is about the identification of the journal quality in a quick and efficient way. There are many journal quality matrices available, such as ABDC ranking list, ABS ranking list, SJR ranking list, and the list goes on and on. So now there are many journals in uh, in every field like in finance there are hundreds of journals in accounting hundreds of journals in marketing management biology you just start naming the discipline there are many many uh, journals available so if i have to manually check that what is the ranking of journal of finance review of financial studies finance research letters accounting and finance I have to go to the ABDC ranking list and search for it. Okay, I have to go to the SJR website, search for the journal name and see what is the quality of the journal. Go to the ABS ranking list and search for the journal name and look at what is the quality of the journal. In terms of ABDC ranking list, the A star is the best category, then the A followed by B and C. Based on the ABS ranking list, the four star is the top category. Then the four, then the three, followed by two and one. Based on SJR ranking list, the Q1 are the top category journals. Then Q2, Q3, Q4. Okay, so the manual process is quite tedious. Okay, so you have to search for the journal one by one in different uh, uh, websites, databases, and then you can see, okay, what is the quality of the journal? Your memory may be super fast. You eat a lot of almonds. Or maybe your diet, your nutrition are good. So you may keep all the journals in finance, in accounting. What is their ABS ranking? What is their ABDC banking ranking? What is their SGR ranking? You might be very good in that. So if you're good in, in your memory, congratulations to you. But not everyone is like you. Some of people are like me, which can't remember everything. So I have to rely on the computer. I have to rely on a system which can generate those rankings in a quick and efficient way. So this tutorial is all about that. And this tutorial is based on a LinkedIn post that I received uh, in my uh, LinkedIn profile from Professor Satesh Kumar, where he found out a, a quick and efficient way to find the journal quality list. And he shared it on LinkedIn. I found it very helpful, so I decided why not I uh, I record a short tutorial and, and it can benefit everyone who may want to look at the quality of the journal. And if you work in university, you know the journal quality where you publish your paper, they, uh, they, are, uh, they, they matter a lot. Okay, in your probation and your promotion applications, if you publish in the top tier journals, A star based on ABDC, four star based on ABS, and Q1 based on SJR, they are considered, they, are, they get heavy weight in your in your application. So, so they are very important. So let's see how you can quickly identify the quality of the uh, journals. So for that, there is a Google Chrome that has been designed. So you can, uh, you can add that uh, extension in the Google Chrome and you can then uh, use it in, in very uh, quick manner. And this is what I'm going to show in a couple of minutes. So if you write in the Google search, rapid journal quality check and search for the extension, you see here rapid journal quality check, click on this link. And here is that extension. Okay, so, so look at that, the overview, and you can read these details on your own. I don't want to take much of your time in, um, in just reading it by myself, you can read it by yourself, but let's try, give it a try how it works. So you see here, add to Chrome, click on it and add extension. Okay, so the extension is added. So now it says that there are different uh, rankings available, which rankings I want to, uh, to, to follow. Okay, so you have to rely on your uh, institutional setting. Some universities, um, in a particular country may give uh, more weight to one ranking system or it, the ranking system can vary from country to country. Like in Australia, 
we follow ABDC ranking list. In UK, they follow ABS and SJR may be followed across the board. Okay, so you have to check which ranking you want to follow and you can then select those rankings um, and, and you can see uh, what is the journal ranking list uh, based on those matrices. So let me turn off this one, uh, FT50, yeah, I'm interested in that. SJR, I'm interested in that. ABDC, yes, I'm interested. And um, uh, where is ABS? This ABS, so I'm going to select this one. After making these adjustments, let's go to the Google Scholar page and see the magic. Okay, so that's, that's, that's where uh, the excitement is. So let's go to the Google Scholar, this one. And you can search for any academic profile or you can search for any article. So let's search for corporate governance. Okay, so I'm just interested in this topic. So I search for corporate governance. Now you can see in front of the article, let's see the one that are already processed. This one, corporate governance and corporate competitiveness and international analysis. Now it's showing it's Q1 based on SGR. So Q1 is the best category. It's ABS3, so four and then four star is the best. And it's ABDCA. You can also expand and bring more matrices and you can uh, you can minimize this as well. So you look, it's, it's quite uh, amazing. You don't need to manually go and search for this journal, Corporate Governance and International Review, go to the ABDC list, go to the ABS list, go to the SDR list, it's not required. Okay, so it saves a time here. You go down, see here, Review of Finance, it's Q1, 4, A star, it's FT50 as well. Okay, and you can expand this one. Review of Financial Studies, Q1, 4 star, A star, FT50. Okay, so, so the life has become quite easy in this way. So that's the topic wise search. Now let's look at the profile of any scholar. You may be uh, interested in collaborating with. So what you can do, you can search for the scholar name. Let's say Sirat Ali uh, from University of Wollongong. Yeah, this is the profile, senior lecturer in finance, click on it. And now you see in, in front of my publications, you see the journal rankings are also listed. Q2 based on SJR, ABS2, ABDCA, and if you want to expand, you can expand as well. And similarly for other uh, publications. So let's see the paper that I published with uh, Professor Satesh Kumar, which basically brought to me this Google extension on the LinkedIn profile, where uh, what is the quality of that journal? So it's here uh, with myself, uh, Professor Satesh Kumar. So that paper is in Q1 because it's British Journal of Management, ABS4, and it's ABDC A ranked. Okay. So I recently published a, a paper with one of my mentors, Professor Robert Pfaff from University of Queensland. So that paper is in Journal of Accounting Literature. So it's Q1. Uh, ABS3 and is ABDC A ranked. Okay, so you can come to any scholar page and you can see where they are publishing. So that is it uh, for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope that uh, you find it uh, exciting. It will save you a lot of time. And the time you save here, please use that time to help someone in your community, in your city, in your country, or in this world, or maybe say hello to someone, spend some time and make this world a better place. If you benefit from this video, please let me know in the comments under the video. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so that you can stay updated about any future contents. Thank you so much for your listening. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care and have a very good day.